Welcome to the first edition of Caleb's Rankings on IU Guys Network here. We're going to go through the top 25 teams, in my opinion, and the next five out, including my bold predictions. Come We're going to start off with the top five teams. Number one, I got Auburn. Number two, I got Gonzaga. Number three, I got Arizona. Number four, Kentucky. And number five, Purdue. The lines underneath the teams means that is their ranking in the actual AP poll. The reason why I have Auburn over Gonzaga is because Auburn has played more ranked teams and beat more ranked teams than Gonzaga, and they have played tougher competition. Therefore, I think they should be number one. We're going to go 6 through 10 now, and we're going to start with Baylor at number 6. At number 7, we got Providence. At number 8, we got Kansas. At number 9, we got Duke. And at number 10, we got Baylor. This is a team you gotta look out for because they got Al Jaheen Durham, a transfer from Indiana, and he is a very good player there. He has led the team in scoring, and Providence has been on a roll lately. Okay, now we're gonna go through 11 through 15. At 11, we got Texas Tech. At 12, we got Illinois. At 13, we got Wisconsin. At 14, we got Houston. And at 15, we have UCLA. You might be wondering why I have UCLA so low, and I think it's because they're overrated. The reason why they were ranked so high at the start of the season was because of that Final Four run, but that's only because they got in the easy side of the bracket, and all the teams that were good were eliminated on that side of the bracket. Now we're at 16 through 20, and here's my uh, 16 through 20. At 16, we got USC. At 17, Tennessee. 18, Ohio State. 19, Michigan State. And number 20 is USC Arkansas. USC has been playing really well this season. And so I believe they should be ranked at that position because of the wins. The only thing that hurts them is their losses. That okay, they here we have it. The final four teams in the top 25. And we have number 21, Texas. Number 22, UConn. Number 23, Alabama. Number 24, Murray State. And number 25, Marquette. Marquette is not in the top 25. But I have put them in because I think they are better than the 25th. Alabama season. can really make a run in the SEC and the NCAA tournament. And I think Marquette, they should be in the rankings because they're well coached and they're a good defensive team. And, you know, UConn is a sleeper too. People should be watching out for them. They are very and now, finally, the last five out, the five teams that couldn't make my top 25. And here we go. We got number 26, Wyoming, which is in the AP poll, but not in my poll. Number 27, Xavier. Number 28, LSU. Number 29, Notre Dame. And number 30, Iowa. And that is my rankings. This last five group is very good. Xavier has had some very good wins. Wyoming has only had three losses on the season. Notre Dame has had great wins and is up there in the ACC. And Iowa also has some very good wins, and they are in the middle of the pack in the uh, Big Ten. LSU also has some very good wins, and they are near the top in the SEC. So this is a very good last five out. It's very stacked up there in the top. It three. is time for my favorite part of the show today. It's my bold predictions. And here we have two of my only two bold predictions for the week. And my first one is Alabama is going to win the SEC tournament. I believe they are very well coached and they have a very good lineup. And they will be a lot of them that will sweep over the SEC tournament and get themselves an automatic bid into the NCAA. And my second bold prediction is Wisconsin is going to the Big Ten tournament championship. I believe they are a hard defensive team. And they, they have Johnny Davis, who will go off at any time. I think he'll go off in the Big Ten Tournament. And Wisconsin will make it to the Big Ten Tournament Championship. That is it for today's video. Remember, on Wednesday, I will go over the Wisconsin game in in-depth detail and put out our probabilities for the NCAA Tournament and my thoughts and opinions on the game. Thank you for watching.